As I was telling Carter, I want all the data I can get on this warp problem. And the negotiating team shuttle has been recording data all the way back from Hotari. Even better than our probes. So pull the sensor and engine ISOs from the Melville when it sets down. Will do. I'll join you and Chovak down in engineering to run another analysis after the briefing. I didn't like this warp problem when we thought it was some astronomical anomaly. And I like it a hell of a lot less now that we know someone is doing it to us. How does it work? What do we even do about it? What do you say we pull these chips and find out? It took some damage on the way. That ionic interference scored the hull plating. Might be some micro welds. Let's try pulling together. All right. Three, two, one. It won't budge. Gotta be the storm damage. We need to. Welcome back. Any excitement down on the surface? Excitement? No. Nothing like that. Hey, can you hand me the EJ7 interlock? From the toolbox. I don't know what that is. Not much use for one on a security detail, huh? Carter? Yeah, I'll get it. I'll apply pressure while you decouple the panel. Here, I'll help. We've got this. Open up and say ah. Thanks for the hand. We have to get these isolinear chips down to engineering. No problem. You really know everything about these ships, don't you? The tools, the systems. Like a walking Starfleet technical manual. Well, I wouldn't say everything, but I know my stuff. I can see that. Come on, start pulling chips. this some kind of crystal formation whoa this substance is a quantized spin crystallization of hydrogen carbon and lithium it's emitting tetrametric pulses at an interval of 3.8422 seconds quantized crystallization isn't natural I mean, it's only theoretical as a means to engineer matter on a subatomic level. What's it doing in there? Wait. Regulation 364, subsection 9. What? Regulation 364, subsection 9 orders that in the case of an unknown foreign substance infiltrating a sealed system, 
It will be placed in secure confinement before further examination. Retrieve a containment module. Don't you think we're more equipped to deal with whatever this is? No. Before anything else, this is a security issue. You don't even know what this is. Which is why we need to study it. Once it's contained. Well, if it's not natural, then someone might have put it there. It could be a tracking device. Some kind of sabotage. Or even a bomb. Which is why we need to get it to the containment lab. Come on! I can't make an exception. Not even for you. I'm still going to report these crystals to Commander Westbrook when we send the shuttle data. And I will inform my superiors. I'm taking this just as seriously as you are. But I overheard talk about the warp disruption on the shuttle. Now these crystals? Maybe this situation is more than we can handle with just a science vessel. We could trigger a distress call, get Starfleet to send more ships, or I could send a message to my old CO on the Adirondack. Get some combat-tested vessels. We shouldn't do this alone. Miranda! You gotta be more careful. If someone hears that, they could think you're talking mutiny. I'm just trying to figure out how we can help. Okay, stand back. Get this to the containment lab. We'll get it set up for you. I'll let you know when it's safely confined. Oh, we'll be there. Last thing you want is to study this down in main engineering and have it explode next to the warp core. Mm. Almost forgot. You can't have that. For a second, I thought she'd gone cold on you. Like she might have changed her mind. But I guess this whole situation has her spooked. Maybe she knows more than us? Or it's because this is all happening so fast? But she usually doesn't scare easy. Yeah, there was something a little off about her. Like that talk about sending a distress call? That was pretty out there. She was probably just thinking out loud. I'm sure she'll come to her senses. This mission has enough complications stacking up. Now, we'll get through it. You, me, and Miranda too. Commander Rydeck was able to work behind the scenes during the negotiations and made contact with a representative from the Hotari delegation named Tylus. She mentioned an unusual artifact of unknown origin being held under tight security within the Hotari Palace, which she believes came from the mines on Tau. Now, this artifact might have a connection to the revolt, to the storm, and to the warp disruption we now know has been targeted at the Resolute. Commander Rydick, if you want to take it from here. Of course. Tylus managed to infiltrate the heavily guarded location within the palace and sent us these scans using my tricorder. It appears to be some sort of control panel, possibly connected to the warp disruption weapon originating on Tau. Of particular interest is this symbol, which we couldn't identify the origin of. The Federation database has records from a vast number of civilizations. If anyone from Starfleet has come across this before, the system should recognize it. Cross-referencing with Federation records. Displaying symbols from Federation database with a 90% probability of match or higher. Select a symbol to further analyze. Ninety-nine point two percent match. Got it. Is 
So, what are we looking at? The design and composition indicate this is a glyph associated with the ancient Khan Empire. Their civilization collapsed over 600,000 years ago, but once spanned millions of systems with a population numbering in the trillions. Fascinating. The Takan were once the most advanced, most powerful civilization in the galaxy. Is it possible the Hotari found Takan technology? I wonder if they even know what they have. Our knowledge of the Takan is limited. I have only encountered passing references to them. I can't speculate about how much they know, but one thing's for sure. They know how to use it. Indeed. Which might explain how they seized control of the mines, and targeted us with a weapon that prevents warp travel. Computer, what is the last recorded discovery of other Takan artifacts? On Stardate 41386.4, the USS Enterprise D under the command of Captain Jean-Luc Picard discovered a Takan outpost in the Delphi Ardu system. According to the mission summary, an unbreakable energy draining field was deployed against the Enterprise and a Ferengi ship. The Enterprise was only able to escape after negotiating their release with an entity known as Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Unbreakable energy draining field? It starts to make sense. What else is there? There's a lot here. Let's take it piece by piece. Select the aspect you wish to learn more about. Someone from the Takan Empire is actually still around. Or at least was, 16 years ago. Computer, what other information do you have on Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire? The entity known as Portal 63 is of an unknown nature. A biped humanoid, he was unaware that the Takan Empire no longer existed at the time of the encounter. He was able to control the crystal-based technology of the Takan outpost through apparent telepathic means. It was by his choice that the Enterprise was released from the energy draining field, after Commander William T. Riker of the Away Team argued on behalf of both Starfleet and the Ferengi. Telepathic control of their technology. As I have said, they were the most advanced civilization in the galaxy. What sort of planet is Delphi Ardu 4? Delphi Ardu 4 is an M class planet, a barren rocky world with little to no vegetation and frequent ion storms. The giant crystals that grow there absorb energy, but it is not understood how they do so. The entire Delphi Ardu system, consisting of 11 planets, was considered completely uninhabited until the encounter with Portal 63. Frequent ion storms. That can't just be a coincidence. The technology to capture and hold the Federation flagship would have to be unbelievably powerful. Computer, what else can you tell us about the energy draining field the Takan used? The Enterprise D was unable to break free on its own. The precise nature of the technology was never fully understood. Only that the crystalline technology used was beyond the comprehension of then current Starfleet science. The engineering team found a quantized spin crystal formation in the shuttle you took to Hotari. They registered tetrametric radiation coming from it. We have Takan technology on board right now? We might. I'll run a full analysis in the containment lab. There appears to be some sort of restriction order from Starfleet. Computer, explain this restriction. A Starfleet directive similar to General Order 7 forbids entering the Delphi Ardu system or attempting to make contact with Portal 63. Starfleet doesn't throw up a no trespassing sign for just anybody. I suppose it makes sense considering what happened to the Enterprise D. The Elidians should have crushed the revolt. But if the Hotari have Takan technology and can control it, see why they're willing to negotiate peace. For all we know, this could be just the beginning. And we're up against something greater than we can imagine. There's only one way to find out. We need to see what's down there for ourselves. I might be able to help with that. We've been able to triangulate the source of the ionic interference and warp disruption to a specific mine on Tau. Engineering used the latest data from your shuttle to pinpoint its origin. There. So we know where to look. 
Commander Rydex right. We need to know what's down there, what the Hotari are hiding, to better understand what we're up against, and to neutralize it if we can. Captain, embarking on a mission to the Hotari moon would not be viewed favorably by either side. However, given the circumstances, we are entirely within our rights to defend ourselves. I just want to make sure this doesn't blow up in our faces. Which is why I'm thinking of sending Commander Rydek on a covert mission to Tau. Assuming you're up to the task. It would require absolute secrecy. And obviously, it's not without risk. I'm ready for action, Captain. Just say the word and I'll be there. I'll admit, I wish I could go myself. I'm hoping Tylus can accompany you. The priority is to avoid detection. It's a calculated risk. The last thing we need is to get caught and then blamed for violating our neutrality and aggravating an already tense situation. We can't afford any mistakes, which is why I've chosen you. Yes, sir. I'll do everything in my power to make sure no one knows I'm there. Good. Of course, you'll have full support from the Resolute. And we'll make sure we take every precaution. Every precaution? Get in touch with Tylus and make the necessary arrangements as discreetly as possible. Bridge to Captain Solano. The Olydians have moved additional ships to the edge of the Hotari system. Current heading is straight for the homeworld. Understood. It would seem we no longer have the luxury of waiting. In that case, may I suggest you and I return to Hotari Prime? Doing so will provide Commander Rydek as much time as possible to complete her mission. Agreed. We'll hail the Queen's delegation from my ready room. We all know what we need to do. Dismissed. Petty officers Diaz and Ed Salar, where is the crystal formation that you found in the shuttle? I have tasked Ensign Calloway with performing a full analysis of the tetrametric pulses. Security brought it to the containment lab. I was just there. They don't know anything about it. Security never checked it in. Miranda never got there? She's the one that had the crystal formation? Yeah. Her and the rest of the security detail from the negotiations. Diaz, Tamaris. Try her again. Commander Westbrook to Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Respond. Something's not right. She's still on the ship. She has to be. Computer, locate Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Petty Officer Miranda Maris is in the isolinear storage array on Deck 5. I'll go find her. Good. I am sure Mr. Diaz can attend to this on his own. these isolinear chips?
Miranda, you in here? Carter, you almost knocked me to the lower level. What's wrong with you? Are you all right? I'm fine. But you didn't answer the question. Commander Westbrook said the crystal formation we found in the shuttle never made it to the containment lab. I don't know why he'd say that. I brought them there myself. Whatever he told you, he got it wrong. All I know is where I left them. If that's the case, let's both go down there and find them. It's that simple. I don't have time for that. I have work to do. Now, if we're done here, I have to go. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of my shift. I saw the data terminal and the isolinear chips. Were you copying data? There's no one else in here. I wasn't. I was just... I was performing a security sweep of the area. And you didn't see the open terminal? I want a straight answer, Miranda. What are you doing here? Carter, if things are gonna work out between us, I'm gonna need you to trust me a little more than this. Because this is not a good start to a relationship. And I don't get why you're acting this way. I'm just worried about you. This isn't like you. You're sweet to worry. But I can take care of myself. Edsilar de Diaz. What's the holdup? Don't answer that. You and I can work this out. Please. You are seriously out of line, Miranda. First you tried to run, now this? I'm not going to stand here and debate you. Edsilar de Diaz, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> each other. You were taking so long, the commander sent us to see what the problem was. Diaz, you were sent here with specific orders, and fighting your crewmate wasn't one of them. What the hell is going on here? Let's just let them explain. I'd like to hear that, because I know what it looks like. There's something seriously wrong with her. She's not herself, I'm telling you. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Well, for one, she was copying data onto this. This drive is unauthorized. There are ISOs all over the floor. And that's why I was in here, investigating this situation. And when Carter came looking for me, we got our wires crossed. It wasn't anything more than that. 
Check the data on this drive. I'm sure it'll show her access codes were used. And there were probably files copied while I was still with you two in engineering. That makes sense. Then get someone down here who can prove that. But until then, I have to go. I don't know what's going on here, but I think we need to call it into security. She can explain herself in the brig. Hold on a minute. We don't need to put this on anyone's permanent record. Carter said you're not yourself. If something's wrong with you, we should head to sick bay and the doc will fix you right up. Yeah, I... I haven't felt right since I came back from Hotari. I think I should see the doctor. You two know her? If you really think she's not well, we can take her to sick bay first. But what I know is this is a security breach, and we should treat it as such. Please, just let me go see the doctor. She did have a bumpy ride back on the shuttle. Come on, Carter. We should get her taken care of. You better be sure about this. Let's take her to sick bay. It's better than the brig, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Fine. Get checked out by medical. You two go with her. I'll put this back together.